ax plus by equals c. Some people put minus c equals zero, I don't mind either way, but I'll use this one. And remember the slope is the opposite of a over b, so we're going to be using that quite a bit. Here, number nine, slope is zero. So we're going to have zero for a and just something like y equals, and then we stick in two for x, that's gone. Negative four for y, we get negative four. Number 10, slope is negative five, that means we've got five x plus one y equals. Now we stick in two for x, that gives us a 10, plus eight is 18. Number 11, five six, that is five x, minus 6y equals, now we're going to stick a 1 in here, that'll give us 5, minus 6 is minus 18, that's a negative 13 has to be c over there. Now notice negative 13 and 6 and 5, none of those are actually intercepts, and the slope is kind of hidden in here, but this is how standard form works. Number 12, slope is a negative 2, so that means 2x plus y, Again, remember that negative is already taken care of in the shortcut on getting the slope. And we have to stick in negative 4 here and 2 there. So that's a negative 6. Number 13. Ooh, we've got two points here. That means, again, in order to get that a and that b, we need to find the slope first. So the slope we're going to get by y minus y over x minus x and we get one third. So that means it will be one x minus three y equals, and then stick in one of these. Zero minus 21 is a negative 21. You can double check to make sure this other point will go in there as well. Three minus 24 will also give you a negative 21. Number 14, maybe we should, we'll put a box around that one. Number 14, zero one and negative one four. Here we have the slope is y minus y over x minus x. That gives us a 5 over a 1, 5x minus y equals, and then we can stick in either one of these points and we should get the same number. 0, 1 will give us a negative 1. If we stick in negative 1 and negative 4, we get negative 5 minus a minus 4, it's still negative 1. We have the standard form equation of the line. Number 15, ooh, m is undefined. That's like having a zero on the bottom. So that means we just have x's going on here. So x is going to equal four. That's how we get undefined slope is by x being one particular number and it tells us right there what that x has to be in order to go through that point. Two doesn't make any difference at all. Number 16, the slope is negative 4 fifths, so that means 4x plus 5y equals, and we stick in 5 is 20, minus 5 is 15. And there we have it.